most alarming or unsettling moment for in the administration? It was certainly unsettling when I went in to talk to the president about the election and, uh, uh, you know, he was livid and shaking and, you know, showed a lot of uh, temper uh, and yelling. Um, that was a little unsettling. But the other thing that was actually unsettling is later when I went in to actually give him my letter of resignation, uh, he started talking about how he had actually won the election and how the machines were rigged and that he was actually going to be there for another term. And he was very confident of that. And I... I just felt this showed a detachment from reality that was stunning to me. He was willing to accept anything, no matter how fanciful, as long as it didn't make him a loser in the election. I thought there was another interesting thing that Barr was going around saying on this quote unquote rehabilitation tour, which is that Trump is so he was so detached from reality. He believed that he would have another term. He was just so out there. Do you think that he is trying to lay a groundwork for some sort of kooky Trump defense? What do you think is happening there with those words? I, I don't. I think Trump was less detached from reality and more determined that, you know, he had to convince everybody, regardless of the evidence, that the election was stolen. That's the only way he might be able to retain the presidency and then benefit from the horrific Department of Justice policy that says we don't think it's a good idea to indict a sitting criminal president. Here's the thing. I litigated in the courts of D.C. the longest competency hearing ever conducted. I only know it's the longest competency hearing ever conducted because the judge told me so. And so competency to stand trial, which is what Bill Barr was creeping toward when he was saying, oh, he's so detached from reality, um, is it's a very, very, very difficult proposition for a defendant to prove to a court that He's so out of touch with reality that he's not even minimally competent to stand trial. That bar couldn't be any lower. And there's no way Donald Trump, after litigating this issue in front of a judge, would ever be found not competent to stand trial. Insanity defense is another thing. And he wouldn't have an insanity defense either. That's even harder for a defendant to win. So now this is just Bill Barr spouting off whatever Bill Barr thinks is in Bill Barr's interest to spout off at the moment.